Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, marvelously Marissa. Fresh off the honeymoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I got your message, but I didn't have a chance to answer. But yeah, here I am. And welcome, everybody. I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm looking at my hair. For some reason, I am growing like baby hairs. So I don't know if I've been breaking up my hair and that's why these are little. Or if it's like just natural growth or I don't know what it is, but I just think they're funny. Boop. And of course they are expressive. <laughs> Marissa is like, I told you over here. I know, baby. How are you? All right, everybody. Oh, I just put all the boxes away. Duh. All right. So welcome to Blue Witch Presents Coffee Break with Laura Gonzalez. Salud. My little birdies cup. New growth. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. That is like new growth. Anywho, the Gospel of Arabia by Stacy DeMarco. The Halloween Oracle, maybe for the last time this year, maybe, I don't know. Stacy DeMarco as well. Uh, Divine Animals Oracle. Stacy DeMarco. Elementals Oracle. Stacy DeMarco. And the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Reeves, because we haven't done that in a while. And yesterday, no, yesterday, Monday, it really surprised us in a very good way. Ah, are the lows for the thing the lows are, Marissa? Marissa says, uh, all over the place, highs and lows. You don't need to disclose, just say yay or, yay or nay. I think I know where the lows come from. And if it is what I think it is, I am very, very sorry. Um, all right, folks, let's move into the reading for today. We're doing uh, oracles. Yes, I just put lotion on my hands because it's winter and it gets so dry in here. Of course, I have the heater on to like 75 because I cannot deal with the cold. I don't like the cold. I know, I know what you're going to say. Put on a sweater. No, I am not going to put on a sweater unless I'm out. I don't like to wear sweaters inside. I barely like to wear sleeves. Do you ever notice how long I wear uh, sleeveless shirts? It's not until it's absolutely cold that I start wearing sleeves. Hi, Richard. Oh, Fuck cancer. That is for sure. I am so sorry, my love. <sighs> May the divine take her. To the uh, and and def can we all say together, fuck cancer. Hello, Richard. All right, let's do this oracles, my friends. May the divine let us see what we need to see in that information be used for the greater good. We have the biome as our first card for today. The biome. Richard. Richard, Richard. The biome. It was so good to see you in a different environment, Richard, at the MTP class. The biome, the biome, connection. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. You are asked for synergy at present. Be aware of the needs of others. You are a part of the same whole. Consider working more closely with your community. Connection. 
The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. You are asked for synergy at present. Be aware of your needs. Be aware of the needs of others. You are a part of the same whole. Consider working more closely with your community. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Richard said you were the toast of the town on Monday. What did I miss? <laughs> for those who don't know what we're talking about, uh, MTP, the Minister's Training Program for Circle Century. And I was, um, I taught a class. I, I, I used to teach more classes on the Minister's Training Program for Circle Century. And then time is fickle. That's all I'm saying, you know. And because of the time, sometimes I'm not able to come back and teach as much as I used to. But I used to teach probably two or three classes per semester or per uh, cycle. And now it's become a little bit less, but, you know, I'm still there. All right. Uh, Divine Animals Oracle. So first, Biome and Community. Second... Let's see what this one says. Marvelous Marisa says, you're busy lady. I am busy indeed. Uh, it feels so weird because this week we haven't had a whole lot of events. But we have coming up over the weekend um, on Saturday. I was going to say Sunday. Um, on Saturday we have, ooh, we have the Red Folk. The Red Fox. I say Red Folk. The red fox. The red fox. Ooh, matches my shirt. The red fox. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Saturday, I will be at Patch doing the Finding the Goddess Within meditation workshop. And if you've never been to one of those, I highly, highly recommend uh, we talk about meditation, we talk about the goddess, we talk about creation, and we create together. We, we, are, we are together. Okay, the red fox. Uh, strategy. Work through a strategy to get what you want. This is a time of transformation, so do not hide what you really are. Be a part of nature, not apart from nature. Be patient. Your opportunity will come. So two for two. Two for two. Two for two. Community, be part of it. Work together. This is about breaking the isolation, my friends. Mm. And it's funny because in winter, I don't have a napkin. In winter, uh we feel so isolated we feel so like sad and and then sad that like the illness and so it's like two for two cars talking about community yeah community is why we're here today absolutely absolutely marisa we missed you and i was talking on monday a lot about community and we had some very good cards on monday if you haven't seen the video from monday i recommend so strategy, work on a strategy to get what you want. Work on a strategy to get what you want. This is a time of transformation, so do not hide what you really are. Be a part of nature, not apart from nature. Be patient, your opportunity will come. That was the Divine Animals Oracle. And Colohombria, Colohombria, <laughs> are you from Colombia? Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Marissa says, I've been watching the recordings, but it was nice to be able to be here in person. Yeah, I hear you. And uh, please know, we all send you a hug and we all send you a very, very loud F cancer and uh, please tell your husband I know it's her husband I married him 
Please tell your husband, I said. Hugs and all my love. I'm so sorry. Foot cancer. Doesn't matter how many times we say it, it's still the same sentiment. All right. The four agreements. Please give me something to work with. Please answer to or needs. Practice makes perfect. Pardon me. Practice makes master. Practice makes master. Always do your best is the agreement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the four agreements. Uh, be impeccable with your word. You Got to read them. Hold on. Little hairs. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. So from the agreement of always do your best, we have practice makes master. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. Second time, we've been told about transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. That's the image. Practice, practice makes what? Practice makes the master. Hello, la Nancy Nancy. Practice makes the master. So by doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transfer transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. Hello, Euphoria. Euphoria. Every time I see um, La Dancy Nancy, it reminds me of workshops. Why? Little known fact La Dancy Nancy was one of my very first apprentices back in the 2010 ish somethings. Hello, Kim, who Kim says, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for you, my friend. I love you so very much. You have no idea. And I wish you lived in Chicago. Where are you uh, these days? Are you uh, up north or are you far west? Uh, anyway, La Dancy Dancy always reminds me of workshops because she was my student. They were my student. One of my very first apprentices. And uh, where do I apply? For, for learning stuff with me. Um, I'm talking about the workshops that we did, that we do in person. And um, Nancy took a class with me about witchcraft. So it was like a one-on-one -on -one in person. Uh, how long were you an apprenticeship, Nancy? Like four months? I think it was a four month thing. And Richard, we can figure something out and do it online. We definitely can. But Nancy was one of my very first apprentices back in, it was before 2020, that's for sure. I, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was like seven months now. Now I'm thinking six, seven months. You are correct. And so every time I see Nancy, I think about classes and workshops and all that. So let me tease you a little, um, a little tease. There's going to be workshops on 2025, honey. <laughs> of course, there's going to there's gonna be a lot of workshops on 2025. Miss Hoshkosh, I hope you can make it to at least one of them. Uh, we're going to do workshops, workshops on... Uh, Shuchikitsali, a radical beauty. We're going to do workshops on uh, tarot. 
we're going to do workshops on uh, the power of the, the, the three mother goddesses, uh, so there's going to be a lot of workshops. There's going to be a huge workshop on Tlazolteo that you're going to love. Um, big, big plans for 2025. However, we need to plan all that. And uh, me is taking a little bit of time off for the holidays. We're still going to do coffee breaks and all that, but... Um, other than the online tarot readings and the in-person uh, cleansings for the end of the year, I am not doing workshops or public events here in Chicago until February. So December, January, we're going to take it a little, you know, snow, cold, etc. People don't want to do nothing. Um, but yeah, Nancy, thank you for popping in because you always remind me of like new workshops, new classes. And then maybe Richard, you and I can... Talk about a one-on-one -on -one apprentice, apprenticeship, apprenticeship, whatever, to be my apprentice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm sure we can do it online. You know, I, Nancy and I did practices in person, but there was also a lot of stuff that Nancy had to do on their own and then come back and report. And I remember, uh, Learning with you, Nancy, was so much fun. All right. One more oracle, the Gospel of Aradia. The Gospel of Aradia. And I'm definitely going to be teaching more tarot workshops because folks want tarot workshops. And we're going to give folks what they want. And uh, I really wish you lived close, Kim. Not only... It will be good to have you in the classes, but to visit, to hang out. We have the skeleton. The skeleton. This may or may not be the last time we use the Halloween Oracle. I know I said that the other day. Wait, where's the booklet? Oh. Skeleton. Skeleton. The Esqueleton. The Esqueleton. Skeleton. Should the skeleton card bring itself to your attention, there to show strength and vulnerability, if that is what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not be carried through the darkest of nights. On the outside is flesh. On the inside is bone. There is strength and vulnerability in power we have grown. Should the skeleton car bring itself to your attention, there to show strength and vulnerability if that is what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not be carried through the darkness, darkest of nights. On the outside is flesh, on the inside is bone. There is strength and vulnerability in power we have grown. You know what just came to my mind right now? that we might do some other classes online. Thank you, Richard, for the inspiration. Um, we can do another, like a, like a workshop on shadow work. We can do like a workshop on uh, spell writing. We can do like a workshop on divine connections, you know, like the class that we did. Hmm. And those could be like bi-monthly and online. And if we do it as a group, obviously the, the price can be brought down. Because when you when you learn with me one-on-one, -on -one, it gets a little bit more pricey. Don't believe me, ask La Dancy Nancy. She's got big pockets. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She 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 gifted herself. They I'm so sorry, Nancy. They gifted their, themselves um, 
this learning, right? And but it, when it's one on one, of course, all my attention is one on one with the, with the student. But if we do them as a group, it could be doable. And it could be not just a class, but more like a workshop, like a two, three hour thing online. Why not? Why not? What do you think? I know you can hear who knows. I don't know what happened. He just decided to sing the song of his people. I don't know who he's barking at. Thank you, Nancy. I wasn't sure and I couldn't remember. Nancy says she works too. I'm a gender fluid gal. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Um, I tried to default to they, but to me, you had this, the way I perceive you is very like a kindred spirit femme. And that's why I keep trying to correct. So thank you for clarifying. And, and folks, get used to be, uh, I know, <laughs> be get used to, like, if you messed up in somebody's pronoun, ask, apologize, and if you're corrected, correct, you know. So thank you for letting me know that she and they are both. All right. Okay, last card for today. Hello, Alexa. You're cutting the tail end of the show show of course we're gonna have um the card of the year for for 2025 Ooh, i i just realized which card is gonna be so hi alexa so listen a lot of offerings in person but also a lot of offerings online right we're gonna have um we still have ongoing the 12 month special tarot card reading for 2025 that is an online only special we have in person if you're in chicago cleansings being offered throughout uh the end of the year and the beginning of the new year uh we're gonna have the finding the goddess within a patch on saturday and if you've never been to that one i highly recommend that is a pay what you can and it starts at $10 and we do art and we talk about the goddess and we meditate and we do all those good things. And, uh, on December, I'm going to be reading at the, at the Tonk. There's going to be like a little vintage market, December 7th and 14th. I will be there. Um, December 4th, we're going to have the radical self love at patch, but I was telling you about next year's workshops and stuff like that. And Richard just inspired me to do a once in a while online workshop. Let me work the logistics because I was, I'm thinking to start with a, like a shadow work workshop because we're still in the dark side of the year. And then, of course, next year, we're still going to have the colonizing and the goddess. We're going to have like a year or two of, of goddess. Oh, Alexa, yes, please. Alexa, what day and time will work for you? I'm thinking Sunday mornings. I'm thinking Sunday mornings, you know, like going to church <laughs> on a Sunday morning. Okay, last card for today. Uh, send me private messages, guys. Those who want online offerings. Send me private messages. But, but, but I'm thinking Sunday morning. I really am thinking Sunday morning. All right, last card for today, the Gospel of Aradia. I... Ooh, the night women. Night women. So, night women. Here we are. She's beautiful. I just realized I put the oracle in the wrong box. <laughs> Night women. Expect joy and good luck to visit your home. Yes, please. Yes, please. 
expect joy. You're not gonna believe me. I think my sister in law just came in, and that's why Uno was barking. And then look at the message expect joy and good luck to visit your home. A spring clean of your home or office is in order. Reduce the clutter and clear the energy. Healing can be done in joy and with movement. Go dancing. Love your body in all its splendor. Upon the appointed hour, we let down our rules and our hair. We gather amongst the forest dark with the moon as our only flare. There are many of us and more besides that you'll never know or see. We dance in our perfect naturalness. We dance in our ecstasy. Expect joy, expect joy and good luck to visit your home. A spring clean of your home or office is in order. Reduce the clutter and clear the energy. Healing can be done in joy and with movement. Go dancing, love your body in all its splendor. Upon the appointed hour, we let down our rules and our hair. We gather amongst the forest dark with the moon as our only flare. There are many of us and more besides that you'll never know or see. We dance in our perfect naturalness. We dance in our ecstasy. Night woman, she sounds mysterious. Say, hey, Richard, I've been singing while I clean out a house. I'm slowly getting ready to sell. Ooh. Yeah, let's, you know, bring back the joy. Life is, <laughs> how did Forrest Gump used to say, a, a box of chocolates? You never know what. Oh, Nancy, I've been deep cleaning my place too, getting rid of so much. Throwing my birthday party this Saturday. Woo! Birthday parties. Um, folks, it's been my pleasure. We are almost at a half an hour. We need to stop. No, we're not. I think we all have fun. I have fun. I, have, I hope you have fun. So please support me. Get your 12-month reading online. Get your cleansing in person. Get your tarot sessions in person, if you will. Uh, come see me at Patch on the 30th or on the 4th. Come see me at the Tonk on the 7th or the 14th. Um, let's do this workshops for 2025 work. And let's work on an online workshop thing. I am dead serious. Alexa, uh, Marissa, Richard, whoever is watching this later, if you all want an online workshop, hit me up. Send me a private message. I'll send money for my coffee. That is true. Yes, I will be at my food baking cafe on the 13th. That is correct. And if you want to buy me coffee, Venmo at Blue Witch, Cash App, dollar sign, zero Blue Witch one. Or Zell, Blue Witch at Blue Witch. Thank you all for everything you do and how you inspire me to keep serving you. And until we meet again. And thank you for the tips, y'all. Tips help a lot. So when you tip, thank you. All right.